Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to our first video on our new user group on Facebook, the Web Presenter user group. So today I want to talk about the new firmware that they just um, released yesterday which added tons of new features. So what's new in the Blackmagic Web Presenter 1.2 version with this firmware update? Well, they added a menu now so when you use your mini smart panel you actually will get a real menu. They added transitions, you also now have a cut or you can also have a dip to black in between um, switching the sources. They also added a full menu for audio control. Um, you can actually set gains on all your input sources, including the XLR input. And of course, they also fixed a few bugs. So let's just uh, jump into this. So I have my representer right here and I actually have my wireless mic connected to the representer. In the past, that was kind of a problem because there was not enough gain that came from my um, wireless mic into the representer, but they have actually addressed that with the new audio mixer that's built into the unit. So when you first click on menu, you will see there's an audio mixer, there's a setup menu, there's a video input menu, and a transition menu. With the transition menu, you can now choose between the cut, you can uh, have a dissolve, you can also choose between the dip to black, that would be um, between the sources, um, or you can also just select a cut. I'm going to select a cut right now. The next new menu is the audio mixer, which is really a huge improvement from what it was before. So you can either scroll through the menu by using the, the wheel, or you can also click on audio, which will get you directly into the audio mixer. Now here you see we have a master level that we can adjust. We can also adjust the volume of each input, the SDI input, the HDMI input, and then we also have our XLR input, which now you can actually choose to be a microphone or line input, which is very helpful. Right now I have my wireless mic connected to it, and I'm of course using the mic level, and I have it gained up um, by about 52 dB, which is a very good volume. Now another cool thing is actually you can now also turn off the SDI audio input or the HDMI audio input. So you can select which one should be going to your master feed or not. So going back to some other menus, the next menu would be the video menu. So you can just click on video and here you can either have it on auto, SDI or HDMI. Most of the time you probably will have it on auto, but you can also, if you only have one source, select right in here if it should be SDI or HDMI. The last menu item is the setup menu. It's pretty simple. It only shows you what the version is that you have currently on your representer. And it also gives you the option to default back to the factory setting. Very helpful. So I think the audio mixer alone is a huge, huge improvement with this representer. Now I'm able to actually connect my wireless microphone right to the representer. Well, thank you for watching our first video and stay tuned for more to come. And please also send us or post your um, videos as well to show us how you're using your representer. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.